Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Today we are going to be continuing our Sanctum base build, guys. Um, so we finally decided that we're gonna basically go with this idea of like a general store slash nature theme first floor we're gonna have a couple of storage chests down here just like um, a sort of small sign selling area that I'll make for our faction members um, as you guys can see here one of my faction members did make a like um, what's it called an, an obby grinder so I'm not exactly sure how this works but if you guys want a tutorial on this leave a like and comment below and uh, guys you have been smashing the likes like crazy you guys are hitting the like buttons like crazy about one in every ten of you guys who watch my videos hit that like button and I really do appreciate all the support that you guys are giving so make sure take the time right now right before this uh, this building session starts hit that like button and uh, I will truly appreciate it but yeah let's get going so for this uh, for this episode I'm basically gonna be finishing I started building as you guys can see here I started building a complicated house design here and uh, this this design was actually inspired by um, by one of our build teams designs and I decided to sort of implement it into the base um, I'm almost complete with it uh, finish the front finish the back and uh, I basically just have to finish this side and I'm kind of just duplicating it over and uh, what I plan on doing inside is I'm just gonna have a storage room basically for food like a bunch of different types of food here and I'll have it all labeled so this big little house here will be our little food storage chest for um, our community floor on our sanctum faction so basically I just have to finish this side of the roof and I, I'm, I'm basically almost done so let's see I need to go to this side so I need to look at this layer I'm pretty sure this turns into like blocks going up not exactly sure how high so then I have to go to the other side to look at the blocks right above where the oak logs are being placed horizontally so I'm trying to make everything nice perfect and sym symmetrical so here then I have wool going in an L and then a wooden staircase do I still have yeah I still have some so th I've basically been building like crazy today. Snix has been bu building like crazy. I zero. We've all just been building like crazy, as you guys can see. We have a lot of room to add just a bunch of different stuff onto the faction base. And uh, do I have any wool left? Yeah, I do. And basically, we're just we're we're kind of just working and chugging along. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can keep up with the pace that we're going at. As uh, we we're, we are getting a lot of stuff done actually. So. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go like this. I need to place it underneath, and that should work. There we go. And then I think it was just oak logs going across, like so. And then, oh wait, no, this is wool. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wool going up like that. All right, let's go back across. It does help that I have jelly legs on the server because so I can literally like jump off from the top of uh, from the top of our area over there. All right, so after this, we have this, and then two fence posts, and then that. Okay, <laughs> I'm kind of making like mental notes on what I need to do. So, um, <clears throat> me and Isaiah are logic on our our, our new uh, combined faction. We're kind of like the OCD ones along with insanity insanity is a little bit OCD and we basically try to make everything uh, nice and symmetrical and uh, if it's not symmetrical it just looks I don't know just something about um, the things not looking perfectly symmetrical like bothers me and then I have to like change it and uh, make it make sure that it does it's even so everything looks nice and good all right so after this layer so I'm looking at the L layer right now. Uh, let's see. As you guys can see, this is going to be our community floor. It's going to span like basically all of this grass area right here. I need to collect more saplings. Buying 10 saplings, 10 1k each PM meat. All right, let's see if somebody will sell me some saplings. So then I have the wool. I have the wood behind it. 
pointing wood on the top and then two glass pieces right there put the sapling in your invent in see ihob let's get some sapling from ihob pay ihob 1000 thank you sir all right let's go back up here while we wait for some people to try to gather us some saplings um i completely forgot okay wait uh wood here wood here and then i think it's like wood here oh man that messed up already i need to put this wood straight up like that and then i think this section in the middle is glass like so and then after that i think you do well if this is here I should go two down and then i think you can go bam and then bam and then bam and then bam bam all right it's looking nice and symmetrical oh god it's looking nice and symmetrical so far finishing off this house as you guys can see building does take time but i i enjoy building so I, I honestly don't mind it at all. So after that, I need to look at the sections to the left and to the right of the window section. Let's take a step back here. So here's the window section. I need to add a wool, a staircase, a wool, another staircase, and then a wool around it. Okay, so taking mental notes, taking mental notes. Let's see if you can... Um, get more people to sell us a couple more saplings so we can plant it and hopefully so one of these big trees spawned when we uh, placed one of the trees oh that tree just spawned I didn't notice that earlier and see porkers yeah pay porkers 3,000 all right so what I saw I remember oh, I hate having to do separate stuff at the same time okay so there was a staircase here, but it was upside down. So that means I need to put a block here temporarily. Oh, I fell. Oh, and I fell even further. Oh, God. And see, hockey. Hunter. Thank you, hockey. Pay hockey. He says to take it for free, but I don't, I don't like taking stuff for free. I like, if people are going to give me some stuff, pay our NFC deadliest shark. Oh, he's got five. Pay deadliest shark five thousand. Thanks, guys. I got them all. Alrighty, so let's get back up here. Let's finish off this house, plant some trees, and then do a little bit more of this. I need to make this this glass, this white stained glass, go above this tree and probably try to cover this the remainder of this house over here. So you need to put a staircase upside down here jump back and then we need to put I think it was like wool and wool yeah. um, let's go wool here let's just put wool along this entire back section here and then we'll kind of just fill it in as we go oh no All right, let's get that wool back Need to put a layer here and then another upside down staircase. And then I remember there was a wool here. And then a wool here. Oh god, I'm stuck. Uh, uh, uh parkour. Uh. Alright, let's see. How can we make this look good? Let's put this here. No, actually, let's let's put this back one. Put a staircase right here, and uh, it's not going to be perfect. I don't think it's going to end up being perfectly aligned, but it should be fine. It should be good for what I needed to do right now, and then I can uh, I can perfect this later bit. I don't want you guys just seeing this entire build. All right, that looks that looks decent for now. I mean, I'll give it some more detail later. Probably I gotta fix this section right here, and then this section right here. But it looks like, yeah, this 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 house looks pretty complete. I kind of want to do this sort of theme in all these houses, kind of give it a more of a more of a classic like old Skyrim looking town sort of uh, mood. And uh, 
kind of just going to go along these. I'm going to slowly change these houses to sort of match something like this. Maybe not as intricate, but uh, something along those lines. So we'll see. And then what else do I have to do for today? Let me plant these saplings while, while I'm at it. So I'm really hoping another one of these big trees spawns because these big tree spawns, they look really cool. Go away, Enderman. All right, so let's plant a tree here. Let's plant a tree here. Let's just plant trees everywhere. Like, I kind of want some in the entrance over here, so put a tree. Got five trees left. Hopefully these spawn really, really big. All right, there we go. N next episode, you guys will see these, or maybe some of these trees have finally grown. And then last but not least, let us fix. I need to fix this section right here, so right below this section so I'm assuming here sort of sort of build this up so I got I have to go above this house so I actually might I'm gonna have to need to raise that level there as we slowly climb up this ladder section here that's, that's above it and let's go back up here and kind of go along the staircases here. Oh man, I messed up. Oh, I hate wasting these blocks. That just makes me angry. All right, there we go. And we are back. Wait, no, that's wrong. It's on top of the grass, right? Yep, it's on top of the grass. Let me move that. There we go. So I'm gonna make this outline really quickly. I need to, uh, right before the episode ends, I need to go to warp, or warp Shop and buy some bone meal. And then with the bone meal, we can, uh, we can make some flowers, add some flowers into this, into this floor that we have here. Oh, I fell, man. Um, iZero Logic, um, earlier today, he was talking about making some sort of, like, automated redstone elevator sort of thing. So he's gonna look into that, and, uh, if we could, if we could implement an, an elevator into this faction base, it's gonna be pretty sick, especially if it'll, like, go up a certain number of floors, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that that redstone mechanism might be a little bit too complicated. I'm not even sure if it's even possible, but, uh, I mean, we'll try. I mean, we could always give it a try. It's it never hurts to try, guys. Don't give up. And, uh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna make me mad. There's a, there's a piece here that you can't walk down. That's fine, though. No big deal, right? No big deal. And, uh, I need to get on top of this. Ugh. So, I need to basically just making this white wall, just a couple more tweaking changes. I think my faction members are offline right now, so that's why they're not helping me. Um, I'm going to finish this one wall right here, and then I'll show you guys what we're doing on the top floor right before I end this video. So, let's make our way to the top. This is going to take like a good minute or so. So, running upstairs. I like, I love this staircase idea. The only part that is a kind of downside on our base build is this, uh, this long spiral staircase. I mean, it re it looks really nice aesthetically, but uh, functionality-wise, it's kind of time-consuming. That's why I, I do have a, oh, I do have a set home up there. Home. I I said a top vault. So here's our iron golem farm. I expanded it a little more because the hoppers were messing up. It's the same amount of spawners in there as the last episode. So, uh. Nothing to really show you guys there. Uh, they made a small brewing room here. We're probably going to expand this a little bit more. This is a little too small for my liking. And it's a little bit too enclosed, but it's nice for now. I think uh, Snix is building her her personal vault in here. And another one of our faction members is... I don't know what he's doing here, but it looks like a vault. And then I think this is Insanity's vault. He's got a, He's even got water breathing potions ready on the outside. Oops, I dropped my signs. And then, so this is Insanity's Vault, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that looks like some Insanity's Vault. I haven't built mine yet. I'm probably going to move my old vault over here. And then I think this is Big Daddy Mark's vault over here. I'm not 100% I'm not positive, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, this is basically what we've done since the last Factions episode. Um, I'm basically just going to be AFKing overnight to try to get a couple more GPs. And as you guys can see, the iron ingots are starting to pile up. We've started to AFK. Our money flow is starting again. And, uh, yeah. This is it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching some of the build. I'm going to probably finish that house 
a little bit later tonight. I'm going to head to bed in a little bit because it is... I'm recording this at like 5 in the morning. I just can't fall asleep, guys. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. And um, this is D-Field. And I will see you guys later.